Oh, hi everybody, this is Explorer 867. Today is the first day of the rest of your life, so get out and enjoy it. Get out in the field and see something new, or get in your shop and work on something new. Uh, today I want to just bring you kind of an update on what I've been doing on the uh, camper trailer uh, conversion. That's the 6x12 Vino's uh, aluminum cargo trailer that I'm uh, turning into a camper. <clears throat> so what you see here is the uh, solar uh, uh, array that I'll have on the top uh, of the trailer. Uh, I've been gathering parts and, and pieces for this for several weeks, probably three weeks actually. Uh, Amazon loves me. Anyhow, and I bought these panels uh, from Renogy and what actually it's a package a, a kit that they have and uh, what you see here is 300 watts each of these panels is 100 watts I bought actually bought a 400 watt uh, solar package premium package from Renogy but in this particular array I have room for three of those four panels and so these panels here will be placed on the top front of the trailer. The, uh, the fourth uh, panel, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna mount that. I do have room behind the max fan on the top of the trailer to put that additional 100 watt uh, panel up there. But I'm considering uh, keeping that 100 watt panel um, aside so that I can use it as a standoff panel so when it's really hot and I don't want to park uh, the trailer out in the sun to charge the batteries um, I can set that one panel with an extension cord out into the sun and the trailer can be in the shade and I'll still get a hundred watts of uh, or approximately a hundred watts charge into the battery system so considering doing that <clears throat> so what we've got here i'm going to i'm going to lift a couple of these panels off here or i'll just lift one of these panels off you can see what i've done here okay so to mount these panels on the uh the uh, van tech rooftop rack uh, I, I purchased some inch and a half by eighth inch aluminum um, angle rails and uh, kind of expensive. Uh, I could only find the stuff in 96 inch length and each 96 inch length was 40, $42 a piece. So basically uh, each side uh, the aluminum angle was like 42 bucks, so it's not cheap, but it is really nice. It is strong the, Given the way I've got it mounted and the fact that it's eighth inch. It's a little thicker. So it's, it's pretty stout <clears throat> And then affixed to these these rails uh, It'll carry these panels really well uh, so I did a takeoff on the back of the the solar panels uh, to uh, find out where I needed to drill my holes here, mounting holes, just on the other side too. And, uh, and so I measured out and drilled the mounting holes. And, uh, and then I also, to mount the aluminum rails to the uh, cross members here, uh, this rail has, a, has uh, channels in it. There's a channel here, channel on the top, channel on the bottom. Uh, it, it enables me to put my mounting hardware, uh, affix it right to this very easily. These are 5 16 stainless bolts and uh, carriage bolts, and they just easily slide down the rail to each mounting position, and there are four per, uh, per rail, and uh, it, it enables you to really uh, mount these securely. Um, I've left an inch and a half space between the panels uh, by design. One, because it gives me an opportunity 
here if I need to tighten the bolts up or whatever or nuts up I can but most importantly air circulation and uh, that is key in solar uh, panels if you want to get optimum uh, <clears throat> wattage out of your panels uh, you need to keep them cool so the more air circulation you can get around the panels the better so a cool panel creates more uh, electricity so anyhow I've got a, an inch and a half gap between between the panels plus the gap underneath here uh, so I'll get good air circulation around the panels um, and uh, I'll take you outside on the trailer and I'll show you what I've done with uh, we had talked in the previous video that I was going to replace that HVAC tape around the the edge of the roof uh, where they sealed it with the HVAC tape, aluminized tape uh, and uh, <clears throat> so I'll take you out there and I'll show you what I've done there and uh, then uh, I'll show you how these are going to sit. Uh, what I'll do is I'll place the racks just up on the top of the trailer and uh, let you see where they'll uh, be sitting. And uh... Okay, so you can see now um, where I've taken the aluminum trim off the top along the roof there and uh, I've uh, put the uh, Eternabond tape all along and actually completely around um, the the trailer itself and I'll take you up on the roof here and uh, show you uh, what it looks like up there okay so now you can see around the the top of the roof you can see where I laid the eternal bond all the way around the perimeter. Now I'm going to go around that with uh, the Dicor uh, self-leveling um, lap sealant and uh, <clears throat> that'll seal that tape down, the edges down. And then these are the Vantech roof racks and then you can see the aluminum angle, inch and a half angle, that I bolted onto those. The, the nice thing about having these um, aluminum angles on here, the, the panels will sit right down onto those and they'll be even with the top grade of the uh, rooftop carrier the rack <clears throat> and just it lends itself for a real clean application and um, less wind resistance just as well and you can see that front one there here well thanks a lot for joining me on this uh, this video here today I hope you glean some good information from it if you have any questions feel free to go ahead and uh, and just uh, down at the bottom of the video, make a comment, ask a question, whatever. And uh, anyway, uh, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and slam the bell. You get the latest content from the channel as I release it. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the great outdoors. You guys have a great day.